All right, so we are back with the um, Regalite arc lamp, and I have removed the wires from the top housing. And the first thing we're going to do here is um, remove the switch. And um, see how that's wired in there. It's a standard twist switch, I believe. Um, uh, yeah, just remove the knob. That just screws on. And, ugh. Hmm, looks like um, possibly mud wasps were living in here at some point in time. So that will definitely need cleaned out. And let's remove the old wires from here. Actually, let's just remove the whole switch from the housing here, or from the unit. And what have we got here? Hmm. I wonder why that's wired. Interesting. It looks like Looks like we're going to have to take the um, ballast cage apart because I thought this would just simply turn the um, power on and off, but apparently not. It might um, have two different settings because this wire here goes to the lamp. This wire here goes to the lamp. Um, And these three wires go back down the stand. Now... Yeah, that's off. On. off, on. Hmm. And it seems like we have, seems like it's just a double pole switch, but why it would be wired up like this, I'm not sure. So we have to see how it's actually wired down here for the ballast. All right, we'll get that pulled apart and we'll be right back. All right, so I'm getting the switch wired up here. Interesting um, detail on it. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera or not, but it says patented September 1912. Um, now I knew this thing was old just by the style of switch it had. Um, so if the switch was patented in 1912, I'd probably say it's probably from the maybe 1920s. We'll have to see. Um, but this is basically how the, um, how this thing is wired up. Power comes in. 
And it's a single throw, um, double pull single throw switch. And um, the switch closes the power, goes down through the ballast resistor, comes back up through the switch, and then to the um, electrodes. And the other, the other side of the line voltage goes straight to the electrodes. Um, so yeah, I'll finish wiring up the base of this thing and we'll see what we've got.